How's it going guys? It's Eric here. We're back this week with a follow-up video to our barcodes video last week. If you missed it, I'll put the link down below and you can uh, check it out, cover how to set up barcodes in the P-Touch editor. Right here we have a database that I've created. It's basically an Excel file and you can see I have a column for the item number the name, the quantity, and the date. This is just generic information as you can see and hopefully by the end of this you'll see how you can use the same setup and apply it to your needs. So once you have your database or your Excel file saved, open up the P-Touch editor In the P-Touch editor, select new, and then look for the retail use. Might be different for you, but for me, sometimes they don't all show unless you just sit there with it open for a second, and then the other icons will populate. We're gonna use this barcode and detail label here. I'd like to show you some other information. All right, so the first thing you wanna do is make sure the dimensions match your label. And uh, we covered that in the last video. If you have any questions on that, drop them down below and I'll help you out with that. So you see there's a barcode, we have a title, price, regular price, it's like a sell sticker. We wanna change all that to match what we need. So first thing to do, locate your file. Once you have that open, you can assign your columns from Excel to match the label. So the barcode, we're going to use the item name or the item number, I'm sorry. We're going to use the date and replace it there. put the quantity and then we'll use that part name all right after you get that all set up click OK and your label will update and real quick you can see down here no we'll figure that out all right, so the first thing we'll want to do is update this text. But before that, it's kind of issue here. It's kind of just staring at me. So we're going to double click on the barcode. And right now the protocol is UPCA. You come over to protocol and change it to code 39. And it will update. Why don't you click OK? And now we have the part number as updated, as well as a barcode. Personally, I would prefer that this be centered. So to do that, we'll, we'll double click here, click setup, and you can remove it if you don't want it, or you can pop it in the center. All right. So this price, we're gonna to wanna to change that. And this is the first roadblock you might run into if you're new to the P-Touch softwares. When you wanna use a template and you need to edit the text, there are times where you're not able to edit. So what you do is you select the select tool, right click, ungroup. Now you have two text boxes. We'll go ahead and update these. All right, once you're happy with the way, with your words and such, 
you can move things around if you want. It's pretty easy. And you can select the labels you need. All right, I think that covers everything. If you have any questions or any recommended videos for us to do for you guys, please, uh, please let us know down below. If you like this for any reason at all, please do not hesitate to give us a thumbs up and let us know what you liked about it. Please give us a follow or subscribe and definitely check out the description or a link to our website and a discount code on your first order. See you next week.